This is my first Fromus 9 comeback as a full-fledged fan, and I am worried. Let's find out if my worries are put to rest today on The Culture Study. Welcome back to Form Therapy. I am the video channel producer. This is The Culture Study, and I'm your host. You can call me PD, and today we are going to be checking out fun. It has an exclamation point, so you got to put the emphasis in fun from Fromis9. Now, I just checked out Wujutonio's Boogie Up. It was excellent. But I had the same worry in Boogie Up that I did in Fromis9, and we'll talk about that afterwards in the review. But this is my first comeback as a full-fledged fan, so... I'm both nervous and excited. So we're gonna be checking this out. But before we do, I just wanna say, if you guys enjoy what we do here and you wanna support us, please consider visiting us at patreon.com slash formatherapy. For as little as $2 a month, you get early access to reactions. We also have live stages and dance practices and J-pop reactions. So consider uh, joining us at Patreon. But that is completely optional. Do not feel obligated to do it if you don't want to. Uh, let's just jump right into this reaction. This is your form of therapy. Come on, girls. Get on the floor. From I have thoughts about that opening, but I think it'll depend on the chorus. Okay, so I wasn't crazy. It does go up in the second part of that. Okay. That was settled? What the? Yes! I was waiting for it. I was waiting for the final chorus with like the ad-libs. When the instrumental kind of just takes off. Alright, y'all know we're watching that again, right? Yes, I 
I'm really curious as to what the thought process behind this music video was. It's like... <laughs> All of the copyright I see in this video, it's like an invitation to court. Okay, I gotta say, the pre-chorus is one of my favorite parts of the song. It adds such a delicate part to the- to a song that is largely really poppy and robust. Like the main hook here, the- that 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 whole part, it's just so jarring, right? But that pre-chorus is such a great upsell. Oh my god. That's such a weird part for Serom. Like, the, the, I don't know, the tone of the pitch of it, it just sounds so odd. That's a measure drink that she's promoing. I love the second part of the chorus when the extra synths come in. Oh my god, it feels like all-consuming. But the end of the song is, I feel like, where the big payoff is. God. All right. All right. It's about to kick off. Oh, such a great outro. Holy shit. Ooh, that high note. What a journey. Listen, when I heard Fromis 9 summer comeback, I don't know what I was expecting, but it certainly wasn't this. First of all, let's just address the elephant in the room. What were they thinking? I mean, this is like a giant invitation to get sued. Like, what is the line between parody and just straight up using a brand? Like the Fanta, the ramen noodles, um, was it Adidas or Reebok? It was one of those. I mean, there were so many brands they were quote unquote parodying. Like, I don't know. It's just, it, it's such a bold and risky move, at least from a producing standpoint. I don't know why they would do it. Would this attract endorsement deals or would this turn them off of endorsement deals? I actually wonder what the perspective would be. I don't think this is necessarily something like other people care about, but um, copyright is something largely that video producers have to deal with. So. If I was if I was in charge of this production and they said they wanted to do this, I would be ripping my hair out. It's it's crazy, but crazy works. So if it wasn't obvious, I am in love with this song. I'm so in love with this song. I didn't ever think we would get a From Us 9 title track like this. And this is why I listened to it twice. At first, I was like, this is very jarring. What is this? Because I feel like Promise 9's signature title track style has been a very earnest, very heartfelt, not soft girl group, but it has definitely had a whimsical nature to it. They had their pre-debut song, Glass Shoes. They had uh, Two Hearts. Um, they had Tugun Dugun. Those songs were very, I feel like, from the heart, very beautiful. And then I feel like Love Bomb really changed things up. Love Bomb was the one where they really delved more into like a poppier sound. But even then, the main driving guitar sound in the chorus added a layer of emotional context. I mean, just watch my reaction to that. I cried. Even that, it was a little bit still very Fromis 9 or like very in tune with their title track styles. This one, I feel like Love Bomb was a great stepping stone because I don't think they could have jumped from Tugun Tugun did this immediately, but once people got Love Bomb, I think this becomes a lot more palatable. So the thing about this song and what you need to understand, it's so different, but it's not. If you listen to Fromis 9 B-Sides, 
this is not that different. Fromis 9, and one of the reasons I have loved Fromis 9 for such a long time, is that with their title tracks, but also their B-sides, they do really, really, really somehow super hard hitting dance music. It's really hard to explain. They combine elements of like a very youthful young girl group, but with really interesting electronic textures. If you're new to Fromis 9, you haven't listened to their B-sides. Two songs that I would definitely suggest are Think of You and 22 Century Girl. This song is more in line with those type of B-sides. I'm really surprised that they did this. I actually I actually always wondered what if they had a song like 22 Century Girl as a title track, something that's so dance heavy, something that is so poppy, something that hits really, really hard, especially in the more uh, pop aspect as opposed to their usual more heartfelt aspect. And it is very fun. I mean, a group has to evolve, right? You can't do glass shoes, Tugun Tugun style forever. With the debut, they come off more young. You know, it's a very youthful charm, but with Love Bomb and now Fun, it's sort of them evolving into, I feel like more of their teen and adolescent years. So you're getting more of a fun poppy vibe. And this was a great transition into that. Seriously, this is so up From Us 9's alley. I mean, you can definitely tell that From Us 9 is not selling or copying out. I mean, whoever is the director for the From Us 9 project in general, they have a good, keen sense of what makes them special um even in this song the pre-chorus is what really really i think sets this apart from a lot of really powerful poppy uh electro pop songs i feel like that pre-chorus that beautiful almost like slow kind of I don't know. That's the soft Fromis 9 vibe. But then they incorporate it into songs that are really energetic and really loud and powerful like this. So that's actually what makes them special, I feel like. That's my second favorite part of the song. And then my first favorite part, the chorus, it never really satisfies me. At least the first two choruses. It goes... So it's like a two-part chorus. And the second part, it adds in way more electronic textures. It's like... And that's fine and all, but it's... The way that is written, I feel like it's a three-climbing act, you know? It goes da 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 and it goes down da da and then it needed a finisher like uh like something to complete it and it never came and I, I was feeling it I was feeling it in in the bottom of my soul I'm like it's gonna come in the final chorus that's what they're saving it up for that's what this is all set up for and it was that final chorus is where it popped off that final chorus with the ad libs and the high notes and the electronic like just it, it crashing down on you. The way that the song just kind of consumes you and overloads you with just magical pop electric energy is just amazing. And this is why I love Fromis 9. This is why they are my favorite girl group. They are both earnest, super talented, and they deliver songs that hit really hard. Like seriously, the instrumental for this is actually really, really hard hitting. I really love it. My only disappointment is that this is a single. I'm hoping that there is at least one other song on here. Uh, singles tend to be either one song or two songs. Really hoping there is at least another song on here because I would be so disappointed if this is the only song. But <laughs> with that said, it's a very good song. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of The Culture Study. Hope you learned something today. Let me know what you thought about their comeback song fun in the comments down below. I loved it. What did you guys think? Also, if you guys would like to support us, go to patreon.com slash form of therapy for as little as $2 a month. You get early access to reactions just like this. You also get live stages, dance practices. We're reacting to J-pop now. Uh, like I checked out the Uju Sonya Sola fan cam, that kind of stuff. If you want to go, that's all on Patreon over at patreon.com slash form of therapy. However, supporting us monetarily is completely optional. Why don't you consider clicking like down below and leaving a comment down below it is completely free uh it helps us out with the youtube search algorithm and honestly it's a free way to do it uh also if you're new go ahead and click subscribe and whether you're new or a returning viewer consider hitting the notification bell and be notified when i upload a new video just like this uh also be sure to binge all my other videos over here